Hey folks, Tommy Cow with The Real Alien Tom back with you. Procrastination is over. I finally got it going on here and I'm getting my beds seeded with veggies, vegetables and leafy lettuce. Let me show you what I've got going on here. I lay out some rows here and I've gotten each one of these about their eight by four. This bed is and this one's about eight by three and a half feet with the drip system in. You can kind of see the rows I've already seeded. As you can see here, this is lettuce, leaf lettuce. And this is another six rows of lettuce. I'm spacing them about six inches apart, each row, and then planting these seeds. These seeds require about six inch spacing on these seeds, on the mescaline, and then the arugula. Then I go up a little bit bigger as I get down here. I know these plants are going to get a little bit larger. There's spinach, six rows of that. We're starting to get up into the uh, 12 inch spacing up here. I mean, we're really, they want to be more apart. And I'll have to thin these out. Here's some red winter kale here, six rows. And then I've got six rows of collards. But basically the way I had to seed these beds is a spacing issue here and I want to show you something about garden planting this is a great resource for anybody no green thumb required uh, it's a gardening book by Don Rosenberg he's actually out of Charlotte and I've spoke to Don before he wrote this great book A to Z of raised bed gardening and I guess I've taken a lot from him on this about trellising up your plants in the background if you especially if you're limited on light like me the only way I could really get a lot of light to these cucumbers and uh, tomatoes back here in the summertime is to trellis them up including the squash and other things so I'm starting to seed these beds with fall greens and here's a kind of a garden planner Don put together here where you have like green leaf lettuce um, he talks about the spacing um, actually, he talks about a dinner planner. You know, we don't eat a lot of uh, out of the garden, but this will feed two people uh, on a square foot. Um, and how many seeds to plant per square foot. So I pretty much followed that guideline, but I'm not doing square foot. I'm doing rows, a little bit different. And basically, to make my rows, I'll use just a... Uh, since these beds are so easy to work, I'll just use a regular ruler. I got a six inch spacing on between these rows. This is where my bok choy is going in. Really want to plant them about six inches apart. I, what I will do is plant them a little thinner, uh, thicker than that, and then thin later after they come up and I can transplant some to some other beds around the property. Um, another thing Don shows you here is a garden layout and this is a way to do it basically uh, using coins so say you lay out your garden on your piece of paper this is two square foot this is a three by nine trellis bed and see he'll tell you that one quarter that's what's required for a zucchini squash plant so that's going to take up that much space so really a zucchini squash is going to take up four square feet here if you get what I'm talking about. Now here's one square foot going down. Here's where he's actually laid out a multitude of plants. Now this is more for a spring garden here. Um, and I'm actually doing my fall greens here. So this is a little different. I'm just, you could see how lettuce can go all the way across mescaline mix. And you can really, uh, you know, take up that much space here. Really great reference. Don talks about how to, you know, fortify your beds here. Everything. It's a really good book showing, uh, you know, how to even some, you name it, A to Z on this. So check out No Green Thumb Required by Don Rosenberg. And he's got a great uh, book. Now, here's my garden layout for these two raised beds, as you can see. And I've got six rows in each one of these. Lettuce, mescaline, arugula. And then my bok choy, which is my favorite, is going down this front row. 
getting them in. I've got some more pots that I'm going to seed. I'll probably transplant some of these when I'm thinning to the pots. And I've got some other pots in the other raised bed garden on the other side of the house we'll talk about later. Just wanted to get this in and show you. Uh, I would show you some techniques about seed packs. When I open up a seed pack, I like to open that up. And the way I sprinkle these guys out, just show you. Uh, the bok choy seeds are very small. And basically, I'll show you what I do here. I can get this down here and just, oh, tap, tap, tap as I go along. I don't know if you can see that. And I'll just keep it in that row. Then, okay, so the seed pack is actually your tool. And you could just tap, tap, tap. So when you open it up, be careful and try to make that little sleeve there nice and smooth. And then get all your seeds to the edge of that and tap and get them to go in. But really, that's how simple it is. What I'll do next is take this organic, well, it's not really organic. This is a uh, material garden soil. And I'll just cover the rows. And as you can see, I did these already. This is my method. I've used it for lots of years. You know, and ro I like rows. I guess I'm a traditional agricultural guy. I put my, you know, going back to being a kid, I used to play with little plastic farm animals. My imagination would run wild. Uh, this bed down here, this three and a half feet, I can do one row. A vertical here a parallel ro row up here I'm fitting in two of the bok choy and then all the other veggies I just mentioned but there's other methods there's Don Rosenberg he can really help you out this book is great there's the uh, middle leader method is something you can look up that's a complete um, gardening guide um, nutritional everything all the way through and then, um, like Mel Bartholomew, the square foot gardener, he goes way, way back. I think Mel lost me. He's got a great mix for soil. But he lost me when he was organizing a garden shed one time on a video. And I just couldn't understand why he was labeling shelves with, like, masking tape where he would write plastic jugs and write that down. That's just too much for me, too too organized. I'm a procrastinator. I finally got around to doing the beds. Got them in. Everything happens organically here with Alien Tom. Um, I'll be on my videos going back to these beds. You'll see the progress going along. As you've seen these tomatoes getting ravaged over the year, the whole course of the year with this terrible disease it still has. I'm just waiting for these last few tomatoes. And I got a few cucumbers left to go. These are going to be it. Then these guys are coming down. The wire's going to be recycled for my bonsai. So I'm going to use that to wire some bonsai starts that I've got. The bonsai in training. And uh, anyway, Alien Tom signing off. I finally got around to doing my raised bed seating. I'm, it, this is just a work in progress. You know, I'll be going showing you how I'm going to take some of the thinning out and plant these big pots and some other pots in the future. So subscribe if you want to see some more of this as it goes on. I can't wait to show you the video on my raised beds on the other side of the house having trouble with a video editing software to get the pictures up of everything going in at the same time, but I'll get that to you as soon as I can. Anyway, Alien Tom signing out. Hope you enjoyed this. Like it if you'd like it. And, uh, it's not rocket science, but we're trying. All right. Have a great day. Tom. There it is. It's done.